All right, guys. So this is an excuse I hear from a lot of people um, that don't do anything. They sit on the couch all day. They don't. They're not active in the least bit. Um, they are keyboard warriors. Basically means they'll say, well, that's not realistic. You know, you're not training with anybody. You're not doing anything. The people who say those kinds of those kind of comments are the ones that uh, – don't do anything. They sit on their on the couch all day and spend about, you know, they, they'll work. Maybe they'll work their eight hours and they'll come home, you know, pop on the Netflix, pop on the television, video games, right? And they do nothing besides that. They'll complain and then they'll complain to their spouse about how horrible work was or maybe that's the first thing they did when they got home. And then they veg for the rest of the night, eat unhealthy foods, right? All the time. And... They'll get up the next morning, do the exact same thing over and over again. And they'll have their weekend filled with booze, um, pizza, unhealthy foods, start developing unhealthy uh, symptoms of their diet and lack of exercise. And then they'll get on their, you know, when they're on YouTube browsing, they'll see somebody, you know, hitting the bag and they're like, well, pff, bro. You're not even hitting someone real. Those are the kind of people who are only going to be the ones that really the comment on stuff like that. The whole point of hitting the bag, right, is to remain active, to know how to throw a punch. Can you throw an actual punch, right? Do you know how to move out of the way, right? Do you, what do you know how to do? Do you know how to do anything? Do you go outside? Do you train with any kind of weapon systems? Bow staff? Holly sticks, bow and arrow, your gun, um, pistol, like whatever it is that you that you do, right? Um, do you box? Do you go to the gym? Do you work out? Do you rock march? Do you do you at least walk? Do you get some cardio in? The only people who are going to be talking about, you know, being negative, are the ones who sit on their butt all day. Guaranteed, if they came up to you and you train, right? You do some any kind of training where you're in shape just to a certain degree, they're going to be the last ones to come up to you and say, huh, you, what you do sucks. It doesn't make any sense. Me sitting on my couch and commenting to you in the comment section is how I, is the most energy that I'm going to be using, expending, other than all that pizza they just consumed or the, the cheeseburgers they had at, at Jack and Box or Wendy's or McDonald's. Those are the people... You absolutely do not have to worry about it. They're sheep. Because they're going to be the ones telling you, hey, bro, you you don't know how to fight. You don't know how to do nothing. Nothing. Look, at I've watched enough Hollywood movies and TV shows, you know, to show that something is realistic or not. And what you're doing is not realistic. Okay? Those are all the keyboard warriors out there. Who would just just comment? That's all. That's the most energy they do. Don't put your don't lose any sleep. Don't waste your energy on those kinds of people because they are the ones that uh, are the last ones to confront anybody in the streets. And then guaranteed, if someone busts through the door or anything, they're the least prepared. They know they don't know how to fight. They don't know how to protect their loved ones. Your wife's ashamed of you. Like those are the people that. Uh, that you want to stay away from. That negative energy of, oh, hey, I know exactly what I'm doing because I watched a Jet Li movie or I watched a Bruce Lee movie or I watched this movie or I watched Spider-Man or Batman and what they're doing is realistic, right? No. You getting in the work yourself, right? You may have a limited budget, okay? I have a limited budget. So I can't just go down to the nearest gym or uh, not gym, but you know, club down the street or some kind of a jujitsu um, or taekwondo, whatever things I would love to do if I just had all the time in the world to do those things. So if you have a limited budget and you're a normal everyday guy like myself, you go out and invest in small things to help you get your body, get your mind set, everything back in shape. There's certain things that don't, almost don't even cost any money at all. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, What's actually going to cost you less money than more money? And that is cutting out carbs and sugars and a lot of fat in your diet. Also, highly recommend 
pick a time. I would say 6 p.m. depending upon what time you get off work. But if you're off work by 5, some people work 9 to 5, or they work 9 to 6. If you work 9 to 6, come home, eat, and then don't eat for the rest of the night. Don't eat. Pick the time. Say if you get off, you know, if you eat, right, at 5.45, 5.50, 15 minutes or so to eat. So let's just say you're done by 6.15, okay? Well, then don't eat until 6.15 the next morning. Let your body be able to digest that stuff and then eat a small portion of carbs, eat your protein, eat your veggies, okay? <clears throat> if you're going to say, I'm going to eat... <clears throat> pizza and breadsticks, you're having a whole lot of carbs and you're wondering why you're not able to lose weight. And this is something, I'm a normal person just like you guys, I'm no Jocko or no high speed warrior out there. I'm just a normal everyday guy that tries to stay active. So I probably relate more to most of you guys than, than you guys would a, you know, someone who gets up at 4.30 in the morning and works out the rest of the day, okay? All right? That's not realistic for the normal everyday person. So what you can do is cut back on your carbs instantly right now. Stop the sweets and the sugar, which means uh, 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 candy, cookies. And then when it comes to the high sodium foods and some of that stuff, chips, stuff that has a lot of carbs, also chips, right? All that stuff is going to be stored in your body in fat. Right? As fat. A lot of it's going to be stored as fat. Okay? So, have a certain portion of food, right? Try to eat healthy. If it looks healthy and it's not the most desirable food, that's probably what you should be eating. What's easy is going to Chick-fil-A every single day, going to Wendy's, going to McDonald's. And then you wonder why you're, you're, you're going to live half the life that you should. And I mean that literally. Okay? So... I'm not saying go to the gym. Some people don't have the money to go to the gym. I personally think most people do have the money to go to the gym. And the reason why I say that is because a lot of people spend 30 bucks, 40, 50 bucks a week on coffee. A gym membership down the street can be 20 bucks a month. So no excuse there. Okay. Time, sometimes you do need time, right? Time is what I struggle with. That's my weakness. It's time. So cut back on all that stuff, right? And then go outside and do some walking, right? Go to the nearest park. You don't really have to measure the distance as much as don't be worried about that. Just get your butt off the couch. Go down to the nearest park and walk around the park. Three or four times a week, you'll start to see yourself. You'll start to see yourself toughen up a little bit. Some of that fat stuff, stuff that store is going to start slowly but surely going away. And I'm saying that as a person who has spent you know, a long time struggling with, uh, with weight. Now, I'm not as thick as I used to be. I'll show you guys, kind of, sort of. I've, I've lost a little bit of fat off of my body. But I'll show you guys from the side, okay? This is just me right now at the moment. I don't look all that great. But I'm definitely a lot skinnier than what I used to be. I think I was about, like, I was more or less, like, out here. You guys can see that, out here. So I'm slowly but surely starting to cut off some of that stuff. And I lost about nine pounds. You know, and I'll tell you guys my weight. I'm two, I was 234. I lost about nine pounds. Right? Almost in a week. Because I was going hard. You don't want to go too hard. Take your time. Right? Don't hurt yourself. Because if you get injured, then you're going to be sitting on the couch and you're going to be tempted to eat. So maybe every other day, go to the park and walk. And that's so much easier. And that's so much more, to me, much more relaxing than uh, going to the gym and waiting on the weights and everybody else is more in much better shape than you. You can start off by yourself at home, doing your own thing, right? You can do your own sit-ups, put your feet underneath the couch, do about 20 sit-ups, and then cut, and if you want to do 20 sit-ups a day, and do 20 sit-ups a day, and then next week, put on, tack on an extra five. And the week after that, tack on an extra five. So actually, you know, you got 50 sit-ups that you're doing, and then you're going to start getting more energy. You're going to get more energized. Drink water. Water is one of the most important things to do. I'm no health coach, but this is very, very obvious. Drink water. Do all those things, right? Don't listen to all the people out there who are saying, well, bro, you don't seem like you've lost all that much fat. When summertime comes around, I'm looking to be able to run outside, right? 
run outside with my shirt off. I haven't been able to do that in years. You may say, are you trying to show off? Are you, you think you're cooler? You think you're better than everybody else? Once again, the people who are going to be saying things like that are going to be the keyboard warriors out there who would never be able to take their shirt off in a public setting, right? And when I say take my shirt off, that means like I'm going to be running. I'm going to be exercising, okay? I mean, running, I see people down the street like all the time. I always see this. People in middle class neighborhoods, they do more exercise than lower class. 100%, 1000%. They're in best, better shape because they have the means and the money to, poor people, got to like work, work on getting a better job, work your way up in the system instead of staying at the same system forever. It's another subject for another day. But... I see those people out there, they're running outside with their shirts off. And they look good. They got the muscles. They got the six pack. They're running. The girl, she's running down the street in small shorts and the little tank top. And she's running down the street. The only people who are mad at her, guaranteed, are the fat and lazy people that would be on, you know, would have criticism for, oh, she thinks she's better than everybody else. Don't listen to those people. Those people, they're going to be saying that kind of stuff. Trash, complete trash. They will never be able to run outside by themselves. They will never be able to, to you know, say, "Hey, man, I feel good about myself. I feel great about myself." Okay, so that's my recommendation for you guys out there um, who want to get yourself in a little bit better shape. Once again, it doesn't require some hardcore gym membership, some crazy diet. It just involves eating. A lot less, maybe about half of what you're, you're used to eating, right? Cut out some of the sugar, the sodiums, and the fats. Sodium, your body needs some sodium. But the high amount of sodium that people are partaking every single day and every bite of food that they have, tons and tons of sodium. Look at the back of that package before you buy it at the store. You'd be like, hey, since it's got 600 milligrams of sodium in it, this ramen pack, probably you shouldn't maybe pick something else that has a third of that. Okay, so a lot of people out there, a lot of people out there are just too lazy to say, hey, I want to feel better about myself. I want to get better. I want to look better. Like I said, right now it's December. Okay, you guys see me like this. It is December. I am losing a little bit of weight. I've lost a little bit of weight. I've been walking. By the way, my cardio, since I've started walking, and I put on a, a 16 pounds uh, so far, 16 pounds in my backpack. And I walk around the track. I'll actually jog. I'm doing a little bit of jogging now. So my cardio is going to be great. My cardio is going to be much, much better. See, when I was at the gym the last time, I didn't want to even touch the cardio, the 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 um, the, the, the running machines. I don't want to touch those. You know why? I was so embarrassed. I was overweight, way, way overweight, okay? I was way overweight. And I was like, man, I got a machine. I'm going to embarrass myself. And I was always worried about, I was just in my head, right? So I actually cut off my gym membership and said, you know what? I'm going to start from the very, very basics. I'm going to work on myself, do things for myself, which means walking and, you know, a little bit of running, a little jogging, right? A little bit of weight on my back, a little bit healthier eating. I got some, uh, I don't think my drink's on there. Oh, here. I'm, it, one second. Went to Trader Joe's, got me, uh, you know, some drinks, mostly green drinks, but carrot drinks. These are things that you can buy in place of Starbucks. Starbucks and Pizza Hut. A lot of people, they spend their entire time eating pizza and burgers and fries. And then they wonder why they have issues in the bathroom. They're struggling. They're sick. They're way overweight, right? Yeah. Take care of yourself, guys. Take care of yourself, especially if you want to be there for your family. Do the small things to take care of yourself. And don't listen to all the haters. The only people out there who are going to be telling you that, oh, you think you're so much cooler than everybody else because you don't know how to punch a bag. Those are the people who don't know how to punch a bag and wouldn't be found in public or even demonstrating anything ever in their lives because they are too ashamed to admit that, guess what? I've got tons and tons of issues, which we all do. I got even more issues because I'm not eating healthy. I'm not taking care of myself. I'm not drinking water. I'm not trying to exercise. I'm not trying to do nothing out there, okay? 
ignore all those people. They're garbage. They're trash. 100,000% trash. And if, I, and if that applies to you, that you're trash, change yourself out there. A lot of people out there are just going to say, well, I'm offended. Well, if you're offended, then you need to work on yourself. If someone says, hey, if, here's an example. If someone says, all men are not taking care of their, their wives, their kids. They are just deadbeats. And I get offended. That means I'm not taking care of my wife and kids. I won't get offended by that, conversa- by that comment because I am. Right? I work a lot. My wife works a lot. Family's doing well. Kids are doing well. So, don't. if you're offended, that means you got to work on yourself and you got to improve yourself in life. Once again, this is an archery channel. But there's so much more to life. Archery is my, I wouldn't say my pinnacle, but yes, for the channel, yes. That's what I, but in order to be a good archer, <coughs> I believe you need to be in shape. I saw a video from New Sensei saying, why are, are archers fat? Right, and he, he's making some justifications for, you know, struggles. No. You just need to be in shape. You need to walk. Walking takes almost no energy. But you can burn some good calories, decent calories, and you can strengthen your heart through cardio. I know I'm putting a big emphasis on cardio, but that's the most basic thing. People out there who are going to say, oh, cardio, that doesn't help you lose weight. Those are the people who are sitting on the couch. Once again, they're sitting on the couch and doing nothing, absolutely nothing for themselves. Don't listen to those people. People out there who are going to be disparaging you. I'm not saying to have, you know, disagreements. You know, if you have knowledge about something and someone is putting information out there that's wrong... I'm not saying, oh, if I'm going to question this person's motives, that means I'm a keyboard warrior. No. Most people are keyboard warriors, though. Some people, Most people don't know exactly what they're talking about, in the least. A lot of the the, the, the criticism that I get on my channel, which people, is not that much. Most people's love. The criticism I get from people out there are ones who don't do anything. They absolutely don't do anything. They don't shoot. They don't know how to use sticks. They don't. I think the Kali stuff is the one that I get the most criticism from. Oh, go to, then travel over to the Philippines and and test your your martial arts skills on somebody. Once again, bro, it's not hard to to, to use a stick to strike. Okay, and you say, oh, well, fight against people with high martial arts skills. Once again, everyday life, you're not going to be fighting against normal normal people. Aren't going to be martial arts masters. Aren't going to be a scream of sticks masters. Okay. So, if you know how to use a, 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 a stick in the correct way, the average person is a sheep, and they don't know how to even defend themselves. They know how to swing. Oh, I've been in a lot of bar fights. They actually don't know how to protect themselves in situations, okay? So, don't listen to all those keyboard warriors out there, people out there telling you that you don't know what you're talking about, right? It's very simple. Your health... That's the ba- most basic form of self-defense. And then optimize your family's health. And then self-defense. And then all the archery and all that stuff should come later. Is what I've discovered. Okay? So go out there. Train hard. Get outside and walk a couple of miles. You walk a couple of miles every other day. you start to feel better. you start to feel healthier. It's going to be hard at first. Get through the first three or four days and you'll be fine. You'll be like, you'll be walking like, man, this isn't too bad. Why hadn't I do this five years ago? I would have been in great shape, which is what I've discovered once again. So go out there, train hard, do your best, and stay frosty.